What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the iPod Touch 7th generation. Brand new, just came out on Tuesday. So this is the product red version and I'm going to be unboxing it in this video. And I'm pretty dang excited for this thing, so let's just jump right into it. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing here. So this is the shipment box. You can see we've got a warning. Yes, there's a lithium ion battery in here. So, because every unboxing needs a good unboxing knife. And let's go ahead and crack into this box. So it's attached to the side of the box. Why is it so difficult? Alright, nothing else in there. So this is it. This is the iPod Touch 7th generation. So let's go ahead and take off this plastic sleeve. So nice. Alright, and here we are, obviously, this is the product red model, 32 gigabyte. Um, yeah, pretty much just this exact same box of any iPod Touch ever. Uh, the only difference between this one and the 6th generation, I guess, is a little bit more bold typeface on there, and the capacity is a little bit larger. Um, you can see on the product red model we get that logo on one of the sides and um, this text is only color matched to the product red on all the other models it is black however we don't get a matching product red wallpaper so it's just a silver one you can see the sticker on the display reflects iOS 12.3 alright so let's go ahead and crack into this box we get a nice pull tab here peels right off Everything feels so fresh and new, so that just pops open, and we can remove this tray. Alright, peel back this label. Amazing. And then, free out the iPod. Feels so new. Um, so obviously looks exactly the same as the 6th generation and pretty much the 5th generation, but mostly the 6th gen because we don't have the iPod loop or anything. Um, the only difference that you could be able to tell between the 6th and 7th generation is we no longer have the FC labels on the bottom just to keep up with the times of newer Apple products. And the only other cosmetic change here is the iPod font. It now matches the iPhone 7 and newer devices. So let's go ahead and power this one on. Hopefully it is charged. I'm sure it is. All right. And of course, we're going to look at what else is in the box. I'm going to red designed by Apple in California. And you get an exclusive uh, product red paper to get that model. So obviously, a um, portion of the proceeds will go to help fight AIDS in Africa. So I don't see why you wouldn't get the red if you are shopping on the Apple Store because obviously this is the best color for this iPod in my opinion. And you're supporting a good cause. So there's that. And so get some more paperwork. Updated quick start guide matches all new Apple products. Obviously we know all that. Um, another user guide and Apple stickers. And then exactly the same accessories we've gotten last time. So just a one meter lightning cable and headphone, earphone, or ear pods <laughs> with no microphone or uh, reusable case. So there we go. Nothing too exciting. Alright, so now getting into the setup experience, we're just going to choose our language and region. And uh, we could we could do quick start, but actually let's just try that just to show how it works. So you're just going to bring in your iOS 11 or later device nearby, and it should 
to set up automatically. I don't know if you have to have Bluetooth on or whatnot. Oh, there we go. So set up the new iPod Touch. It will just transfer all of your settings and you basically skip the whole setup process. So you then just scan this little code and connect. Alright, just enter the password from your iPhone. And now we're going to go continue with data and privacy. Already has my Apple ID so I don't have to type any of that in and Wi-Fi. So even though this design is technically from 2012, uh, still looks really good. Uh, you wouldn't be able to tell really. It's just a little on the small side, of course. All right, so we're done here. And we can restore all the apps. Oh, for my old iPod Touch, yes, I want to do that. Uh, that said November 1st, 2018, though, so that's a little outdated. Anyways, we're just gonna continue. Settings from your backup. All right, now it's just going to go ahead and restore. Okay, we're all done. Press home to upgrade. Enter passcode. All right, and then <laughs> more loading here. Okay, great. Now everything is set up exactly like my sixth generation iPod Touch. Oh, we're getting all kinds of messages here. Um, so we do get a lot of new apps here since they include uh, clips, GarageBand, iMovie, iTunes U, Keynote numbers and pages on 32 gigabyte and higher storage capacities. And we also get Measure since that requires an A9 CPU or later. Um, this iPod now uses the Apple A10 chip which is from the iPhone 7. It is a little bit underclocked but should be about the same uh, performance as the iPhone 7 has 2 gigs of RAM and that's really the only hardware difference We do get a couple of new software features because of that chip such as the measure app as well as uh, Actual group FaceTime because on the sixth generation iPod touch you could do group FaceTime, but it was only um, audio so you could hear the people in the call if you were on the iPod and they could hear you but they couldn't see you and you couldn't see them so now we have actual group FaceTime support and also AR support, which obviously uh, is required for measure. And I wonder if it has any features like raise to wake. Oh, it does. And does it have wireless Hey Siri? Let's see. Listen for Hey Siri. Um, I don't know. Let's just try it. Hey Siri, what's the weather? All right, I guess it doesn't have, um, hey Siri, it might, but, oh my god, <laughs> it's getting all these pop-ups. But yeah, everything feels really smooth, really quick. Um, so yeah, this is the new iPod Touch 7 generation. Uh, the camera is exactly the same, unfortunately. Um, it's 8 megapixels with 1080p video. Even the front camera is the same, 1.2 megapixels with 720p. Um, however, one of the new features we get um, because of that new chip is formats. So we can now choose high efficiency or most compatible. And that's really about it. It's not much else to talk about, but this is a huge difference in performance and it will be supported for a lot more iOS releases than the 6th gen. Um, honestly, I don't even think that one will get iOS 13. Um, so, of course, they released this one just one week before iOS 13 gets announced. So, great timing. Um, but yeah, so I'm really enjoying the iPod Touch 7 generation so far. As you can see, let's go ahead and check what, which version of iOS we're running. Stop. I'll set that up later. Oops. So, iOS 12.3.1, but we are on 12.3 right now. And uh, you can see iPod Touch 7th generation. Can't even see the whole thing. So that is the new iPod Touch 7th generation. I'm going to go play around with this for a bit, and I will catch you guys in a few hours. So I've had a couple of hours to play around with this new iPod Touch, and I can tell you that it is fantastic. It is so quick, and um, battery life seems to be improved a little bit, although still not great. Um, so yeah, I've just been enjoying every second of this experience. I love the product red color um, and just the 
performance of the A10 chip and the couple of new features that they've added. So I'm going to be doing quite a few more videos about the iPod Touch 7 generation. Stay tuned for those. I'm going to have a top features of the iPod Touch 7. I'm going to have comparisons with the 6th gen as well as some other devices once I acquire the iPod Touch 6th gen again. Because as you know, I sold it to make room for this one. And I will also be doing uh, what's on my iPod videos like that. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching my unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you again in the next video. Peace.